Hey there, and welcome to the Thomas Index Report for the week of September 20th. As shipping demand continues to surge at record high levels, it's putting an incredible strain on American trucking companies. Data from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics indicates that trucks carry more freight across the United States than every other mode of transportation combined based on shipment weight and value. This is leading to a string of mergers and acquisitions in the logistics sector with many major freight brokers, private equity firms, and VC groups taking big swings to acquire existing businesses or invest heavily in digitally focused trucking startups in a bet on future sector growth and continued tech advancement. Other logistics business leaders are looking to short and long-term leases to secure the trucks they need to make key deliveries. On the thomasnet.com platform, sourcing for truck and trailer leasing services is up 94% year over year and 80% over last quarter averages. And while demand is growing for trucks and trailers, there's another critical element required for a smooth logistical operation, drivers. Back in 2019, the American Trucking Association was already reporting that the trucking industry was short-staffed by about 60,000 drivers. And while truck driver shortages have been a persistent industry challenge for years now, staffing problems have become increasingly dire in light of current labor market conditions and the enduring impact of COVID-19. In the next seven years, the organization anticipates a shortage closer to 160,000. Even with substantial financial incentives and expanded recruiting efforts, trucking companies are still struggling to fill open roles. Some are even turning to teenagers as young as 18 to begin driver training or looking beyond the U.S. border for new recruits. UPS spokesperson Dan McMacken told the Wall Street Journal that the current conditions were making for, quote, the tightest labor market that we have ever seen, end quote. U.S. Express CEO Eric Fuller echoed McMacken's perspective in an interview with Yahoo Finance last month, saying that the driver's situation was as bad as he had ever seen in his career. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, though. In their Q3 industry forecast, U.S. Express noted that they anticipated an imminent drop in the market specifically related to volume challenges and pricing spikes. The lingering question, they say, is whether that will happen in the winter, spring, or summer of next year. I'm Tony Apoff, and this is the Thomas Index Report.